PlayStation Now, oh god, I wish Sony didn't have that because because it works okay if you have really fast internet connection. It's not you can't really do multiplayer like you're never gonna play like multiplayer over PlayStation Now. Um, yeah. It's kind of cool, like, if you had kids and you don't want to pay for a lot of games, you can just get them a PlayStation Now, and they'd be happy with all those games. Um, uh, but it, it it's not a real good solution. I really wish um, I really wish they would just do backwards compatibility. Unfortunately, they paid a lot of money for that streaming technology, so they're not going to do backwards compatibility. They're going to give that streaming technology every chance to try to be a success. Wise guy, I'm good. It is a crappy way to do backwards compatibility, but I mean, it was funny because, um, God, about 10 years ago, that was like such a, a cool thing that it was even possible to stream games. Like, I knew it was going to never work. Do you remember like, uh, there was on live, which already went out of business. I remember going to E3 and it was hilarious because me and my business partner were, were, were there and there's an on live booth. And I remember going there and I was like, God, this place phenomenal. I'm like, there's no way this is actually over the internet. And, and, uh, um, they screwed up while we were there. They like went into a menu and I saw there was zero ping and, and I'm like, there's absolute me and my business partner. I go, did you see that? He goes, yeah. I go, there's no way. Cause I asked the guy like where, where the server was. And he said the server was like, um, was like in the next state. And I'm like, they're full of shit because there's no way you have zero ping. That server had to be on the premises. It had to be right there, like behind, behind whatever we were playing. And, and I, they, they basically, they kind of lied and sold that that streaming service out to be that it was better than it actually was there's just no way you can have zero ping unless you're on the server regardless of how fast the internet connection is zero ping is it's impossible yeah they were hooked up directly and they were telling everybody that they that they were that this was streaming over the internet and a lot of people were like wow this technology is amazing and and uh um OnLive failed. Sony bought, conversely, Sony bought um, one of the competitors to OnLive. They bought the technology from a competitor and they wanted to use it in their systems. But it was like a, back, back about 10 years ago, it was like such a cool, like every, that, even that it was possible, it was cool back then that it was possible. People that knew better knew it, it's never going to be, it's never going to be the greatest way to play a game. It's it's always better to have the game on your system. There's just no way streaming streaming's never going to get to the point where games are are good. It's okay for video, but games just the latency required for video games. It's just internet's never going to unless everybody in the world's on like maybe fiber optics. I don't think the internet's ever going to be fast enough for streaming services to really be a viable option for video games. I mean, it's cool. It's okay for single player, and you can kind of get get to it, get. But for multiplayer and stuff like that, it's just never going to work. There's just too much lag involved. You know what my game on the free games? I actually I don't mind the free games, but I think it's funny the industry such a. Um, they're such hypocrites because. I think it's hilarious that they 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 hammer on used games and say used games affects affects the their you know their profits or whatever, but free games are okay. So you can't you, they're 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 so full of shit. You can't complain about used games and then, but it's okay to give away your games for free. But used games hurt you. Actually, used games and free games. If you've ever noticed, they're usually older games, and it's actually. Used games are, are kind of similar in the fact that like somebody buying a used game, like look at Grand Theft Auto for example. I don't play, I don't, I don't really play Grand Theft Auto anymore. So I tra I, I sold my game to myself in my store, and I sold it, and someone bought my game. So now somebody else is playing my game, and they're still buying, they're still buying like the add-ons, and they're, they, you know, now 
I, I'm done with Grand Theft Auto, but somebody else is getting is still they're still getting the money off that game in another way. They're getting the DLC from people. It's the same with free games. The reason they give free games away is because they're hoping to get you on something.